morning, Earl's fam. Kate just got a coffee. Yeah. We are headed right now to our tour. So we woke up this morning and we're getting ready and Kate made the most fabulous oatmeal for us. Um, so delicious. <laughs> so I always do just the normal packets at home, but I'm like, I'm gonna go home and try to make this from scratch like she did, because it was so good with bananas and frozen berries. Oh, delicious. Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use because you can't stop it from shining. We're gonna go see the causeway, and it's gonna be beautiful. Hiking. Lots of hiking, it's gonna be a great day, guys. Be pumped because we're pumped. Okay guys, first stop on our tour is Carrick Fergus Castle. <laughs> so, beautiful castle over here. We're gonna try and get some good pics of it. And uh, yeah, see what we can do. I love the little boats over there. So cute. Oh, so cute. Yeah, this is a little marina. All right guys, I hopped up on this wall, which I actually had to step on Kate's like leg. <laughs> and that's okay, because now I got a better shot of the castle up here, like this, over the water. Apparently that is a film set for Game of Thrones. Castle Black. Castle Black. Cool. So I'm definitely gonna have to watch Game of Thrones after this to see all the spots that I saw in person, but it's Castle Black. Yep, and so pretty neat. Towards the rock on the right, you will see a ledge going out towards the sea. Now this is where two local lovers used to meet many many years ago and the lady was waiting for her lover on this ledge one day when a storm came up from nowhere and a large wave swept the lady off the ledge into the sea and swept it away. Now as you drive past the second rock on the right you will see what appears to be a window cut right through the rock. And this is where the gentleman in question will come back to every day, looking through this window, broken hearted, looking for his lover to return. But sadly, she never did. Just look to you right now. You see the window there? That's where the gentleman would stand, looking for his lover to return every day. But she never did. Very sad. about this hotel on the left is folks it was once owned by the wartime Prime Minister Sir Winston Churchill. Sir Winston Churchill owned this hotel between the years 1921 to 1934. It's a lovely wee harbour. It was built in the year 1848. Viking times, the local people around here will go onto that island with about 10 or 12 sheep and sacrifice the, uh, the sheep onto the island in the hope then that the Vikings would not come on to the mainland. That's why it's called Sheep Island. Okay guys, we've finally arrived to Carrick Bridge. Is that what you said? Carrick Reed. Carrick Reed, dang it. <laughs> I don't know what Close. I'm saying. Carrick Reed Rope Bridge. 
uh, so it's gonna be cool y'all I pronounce everything wrong I can't understand people I'm like can you say that again please I have no idea <laughs> I've been here for eight months and I still pronounce everything wrong. yeah but you're pretty good at it I'm like I don't know what they're saying <laughs> You guys, this is unreal. Just so stinking beautiful. Okay, let's go. Woo. You guys, these views. Oh. All right, out to give our tickets to go over this bridge. on the rope bridge doing life. This is awesome. This is so sweet. Kate, how you doing back there? <laughs> it's pretty nifty. Almost dropped your phone. Oh. All right, we have walked to the highest part, so we'll give you a little view around of what we're looking at right now, all the beauty. Okay, looking glam. <laughs> Woo! You guys, wow. Amazing. Really is. Am I recording? I think so. <laughs> okay, as I try not to trip, we're walking on the like scenic circle around, I guess now after we did the bridge, which, yes, are, which is pretty around. cool. We were talking about her mom, probably my mom even would not want to do that. I know, the way moms are Woo, right. this is Love beautiful. You, pretty shot right here, you guys. Woo. bridge we're heading back to the bus and then we got like a it was like 10 minute drive yeah, to I think so. our, our stop for lunch and we brought sandwiches and stuff so we don't have to pay anything but y'all I'm hungry smart. <laughs> yeah smart cheap you know efficient, efficient. that's what we're going for fabulous. here <laughs> fabulous everything in between <laughs> bus stopped at this little cafe thing where people can go in and eat while we're there. But we saw all these picnics and we we're like, we have to come out here and eat with the countryside behind us. So got a sandwich, got some graham crackers, some crunch bar, an apple, and a banana, and we're ready to eat. Are y'all? We're in Ireland. I'm in Ireland. You I'm live in Ireland. Like what? This is awesome. We have stopped to look at sheep, you guys. <laughs> we have stopped at Bushmills Distillery. We get apparently we get a free whiskey. So yeah. we're like, okay, I don't even like whiskey, but hey, I'm not gonna say no. <laughs> and then I got a funny story to tell you guys later. Okay, so now let me tell you this story. So as we're at the bridge, right, there's these guys who are up ahead of us and you know, they, what did they first start doing? Like we were taking pictures and I guess they were just like making noises and I was like, our, and started whistling. I was like, are they doing that at us? Like it just, and we're like laughing and I was like, this is really uncomfortable. So we started walking ahead. Well then they started like following us. And yeah. We got to the part where we were like basically walking together almost and like they were walking like really close behind us and still like whistling so I'm like this is really uncomfortable. So anyways, we get back from it and right after we, we just left from the place where we ate, yeah. um, yeah, one yeah, of them like, or the other. yeah, one of them like walks on, we're already on the bus and hands me a flower and and like doesn't oh, say anything, he didn't say anything, did he? No. No, he just gave me a flower and I was like so confused so I just said thank you but I didn't even take it. Anyways, gives me this flower and I say thank you but like I didn't want to take it because you know, 
first thing I'm thinking is like, dude, like I'm married, you know, like I'm not trying to give you the wrong signal. So I didn't take it. So then he just put it on my lap and like all the other boys started laughing. I was like, this is so awkward. Like I just couldn't figure out. I was like, are they like making fun of us? Or was he like trying to like hit on me? Like, I don't know. It was very awkward and we're on the same bus. So we'll update you if anything else happens, but I doubt it will since I was quite an awkward. Ooh, <laughs> Clutch, okay, whoops. <laughs> Alright, so we've just made our way to Giant's Causeway and we're walking there now. Pretty awesome view already. Let you guys see it. Pretty sweet. What? This is so beautiful. <gasps> So cool. Oh man. Kate's leading the way over there, you guys. This is pretty cool. heart stone half the heart and the other half it's like Harold and Everest I'm here <laughs> yeah. we stopped at the dark hedges but it's really people just drive down this so it's been crazy quick but we snapped one picture but I don't know lots of people We are back now. We decided we were gonna cook. Well, Kate really cooked. But, oh my gosh, we're so hungry and this pasta looks amazing. Look how delicious that looks. Oh yes, and we got some garlic bread. Oh man, oh, delish. Okay, you guys, we've had a huge change in plans because turns out Kate has to do some work on Thursday and Friday. So we decided we're going to Scotland tomorrow. I was like, once I realized like just how close it was, I've been like, hmm, can I go? Can I make this work? So it is currently like 11.30 at night and we have a taxi at like 3.30 in the morning that's gonna take us to the airport and we're gonna spend the day in Edinburgh. I think, they think how you, I think that's how you say it, wow. I have not gotten much sleep. And we're gonna do Scotland and then come back tomorrow night and then she's gotta come back and do work so then I'm gonna go to Galway and do the cliffs and figure it out and then figure out something for Friday. And then I'm gonna head home, but we're going to freaking Scotland. That's amazing. Uh, so here's to living. <laughs> yes! I'm so glad I convinced her. I was like, should we go? I was like, I really we should go. <laughs> yes, we're gonna go. So I'm gonna end the video here because y'all, I'm gross and we gotta leave in a couple hours. Oh, so, <laughs> all right, love God, love people, make a difference, be thankful. I'll see you guys tomorrow in Scotland. <laughs> Bye. Good morning, Earl Spam. I have just landed in the Dublin airport and I'm walking outside. I gotta go catch the bus to the city center right now. You guys, I was freaking out when we were landing and just seeing all the green it was so beautiful and then we had to wait a while